I'm gonna do some uh, flips and rolls with the V120 uh, D02 with the Turbo Ace 215 motor, running the stock D02 10 tooth pinion. And it's left and right roll there. Uh, I just did the right one last. Try and get over here a little. That was sloppy right roll, but there we go, a little better. Oh. Of course, these are stationary rolls, so they're a little bit different than when you're moving. Well, I, you know, I honestly only started doing the right rolls today. But there they go. I'm um, hoping the camera's catching them. Um, I am using for this flight my absolute worst battery, which is the original stock D02S battery, which came with the helicopter that I got in March, which surprisingly still works. And I really hope I got the right camera angle to catch all this because those are some pretty good loops, uh, rolls. Whoop. Tried to stall inverted, but uh, kind of lost orientation. Still got it though. Pretty good flight. And my battery's feeling a little, a little chunky. I'm gonna bump up to 100% for a second. Uh, I usually don't run 100% on this motor because, well, obvious reasons. The uh, stock pinion is a little bit too big. Runs the head speed a little too high. Runs the ESC and motor a little too hot. But to get a good flight time out of this battery, I do it sometimes, just for a minute or so at the end of the flight. And there you can hear the bog now. You can hear the bog, but you can still see the performance. It's really uh, kind of crazy. Oh, it's really getting low now. All right, back down to normal mode. I'm gonna land. That's, uh, I'm a little bit curious to see what that uh, battery's sporting voltage-wise now. I'm gonna come over here and snatch my voltage meter off the V450. And check it out. Alright. There we are. Got a... Uh, let's see. Perfect. 3.75, no, 7.3, 7, yeah, 3.7273 volts there. It's a little lower than I like to go. Pack is a little warm. Motor's cool. Speed controller's pretty warm. It's nice, nice and uh, overcast. Just got done raining, so it's not hot out today. Uh, it's the only reason I ran it at 100% throttle with that pinion on. But uh, I think like a nine tooth, Maybe an eight tooth with these motors, the spin and this one might be the better for efficiency, but you definitely have a lot more punch with the 10. Um, so you can do like on your throttle curve, you know, 
something like you know 60 to 80 percent in the middle and then as you go up and increase your collective stick you can do a hundred percent or higher a little bit you know under a hundred percent uh to get a little more punch in those areas where you might have some dropout from extreme uh pitch maneuvers depending on how you fly if you're doing you know most of the guys are saying they're not doing extreme 3d i'm not doing extreme 3d i'm doing light 3d sport flying stuff like that so it's you know for me 60 percent i think i'm running the uh we'll see um do throttle curve and just take a quick look and see for my st stunt one uh, camera doesn't focus very well it's zoomed out right now but it's a hundred percent on the far extreme here on the first point um then it goes to the second point at 80% and the middle at 70, uh, back up to 80 and then to 100 on the end again for the extremes. So it works out pretty good. It's the lazy way of not changing the pinion and buying a smaller one. Uh, it probably will be more efficient and run better with the smaller pinion though. That's the proper way to mechanically. But with the helicopter this small, personally, I don't care. It flies great and it has extra power. So I'll go ahead and exceed the recommended uh, head speeds if I can because these blades are plastic and I doubt they're gonna come flying off. I am a little worried about the blade grips though. Uh, I've had a couple of those come off and in accidents of course it's devastating. So you do a uh, shear pin in the bottom right there and uh, that hopefully breaks on impact instead of everything else. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, have a bunch of good flights everybody. Oh wait what do we got here? Let's see if we can get a shot up. know what it is looks like a maybe a uh, I can't tell really maybe a bell can't really tell it's hard to see I know the camera's not gonna be able to see it any better than I am but that came right from the airport over here so all right cut it off now